guys welcome to another video and this week we're heading up to the Riverland we're going camping again we've got the kayak on board we're going to check out Catarapco Creek I'm fairly sure all the campsites along the creek are still shut from the floods so the plan is to go to Millage Landing camp there and then uh, it's a short paddle across the river to Catarapco Creek might do a bit of fishing we'll chuck a yabby pot in uh, what else are we going to do we won't be having a fire because I've just looked it up, it is a complete fire ban today. So all of a sudden it's got hot again. So we better make the most of that It's uh, because it's going to end soon. But I have got my little gas cooker. We will be doing a cook up at the end. So hang around for that one. We've got no speedway. We had a good weekend last week at the speedway where my son came ninth out of 40 cars. Made it into the A main for the big once a year 60 lapper. So it was the best we had the car set up and the best he's driven. So check out that one on Martin Motorsport. As I keep saying, I'm going to leave a link below, but I'll never do it because I'm just an idiot. So I'm definitely going to have it in this one. So I know most of you aren't interested in the motorsport part, but if you are slightly interested, go along and subscribe. It's mainly my son's channel. I've been helping him out a bit with it, but he's uh, going to do it. And he mainly does it just so the family can see his racing. Like, his nan and can't see it and his mum's over in Victoria so it's a good way for them to check out his racing and also help out his sponsors so uh, that's all we're doing that channel for and just a bit of fun and so he can learn how to edit and stuff as well so uh, go and check that out he would love it if you subscribe to it and uh, there is some interesting videos he has onboard cameras on the race car and stuff like that and explains to you what what's happening but uh, anyway that's enough of that we're heading up the Riverland. I'm going to turn the camera around, show you guys what I'm looking at. And you know what that means? It's time to start the music. heading down to Millage Landing little area which we've camped at before down towards the left along the dirt track but seeing we're not having any fires today we might even camp just near the boat ramp on the bitumen we'll see what's happening when we get down there Fairly warm today, probably about 34 degrees, which is pretty warm for March, and not many people down here, which is good. So we might even just camp down there to the left near the jetty. And uh, we'll just have a quick look. So to get to Cataraco Creek just up through the gap there probably about 300 meters on the other side of the river and you can see where the water got up to about where that platform is where the stairs lead up is where the flood got to and it looks like there's someone camping down along the dirt track I think we'll keep out of there and we'll just go over in the left there somewhere so it's nice and easy to get the kayak in so as the sign says Catarapco Creek which is straight ahead there the main part of the Murray veers around to the right which you can't see fairly strong northerly today and now I'm out the van it is warm I'm guessing it must be 35 up here and as with what normally happens for some reason the wind is going the opposite direction to the flow of the river so downstream is to the left a little island over there 
and that's where we're going to camp for the night just up there if we can get a bit of shade as the sun goes down and the water during the flood was up to probably the height of my front wheel to the top of my front tyre when the water was at its highest righto guys we got the rod in and this shows you how good a fisherman I am because I don't think I've changed the hooks on this rod for about eight months they've gone all rusty haven't caught anything on them I'll probably catch a snag today and they'll break off just looked online to see the temperature here and it's 38 middle of March and it's 38 100 degrees Fahrenheit so I think we're gonna sneak in and there's not many or well, there's no one around so I'm not gonna scare too many people if I hop in for a swim get in there and cool down a bit I bet you it's freezing when I put my feet in the water oh it's not too bad yep we're gonna go in got some ducks over here we'll see if we can swim up to them No, nah, I've seen the big hairy monster. So it looks like the abbeys are still running down here or up here. So Brad's just got in, got heaps in there, nice size too. Ratchet strap. Just shift, oh, my swag's still tied onto it, so you have to untie my swag. Beauties there, nice, nice size, size yeah. Look at that one there. Alright oh guys, here goes tonight's cook up. We're trying to keep out the wind a bit here. We got a beef schnitzel. We're gonna slow cook this. Because I hate it when they burn on the outside. Probably not quite hot enough yet, but it's nearly there. So we're just starting to get the sizzle going. Those other things are called chicken chippies or something. Saw them in the shop, they looked interesting. So we'll see how it goes. And then I think I've got a couple eggs we'll chuck in there as well. Beautiful night, winds calm down a little bit. And one of my normal camping nights sitting back here watching a bit of Speedway live from Mount Gambia so yes I have got a lot of oil in here we're doing a shallow fry because I hate it when it's too dry with schnitzels all the crumbs tend to burn we'll give her a flick over in a minute just have a bit of a look here and see what's happening. Needs a couple more minutes there, and then we'll flip it over. Okay guys, this is starting to look good. Nice golden colour. We'll plate that up in a minute, then I'll chuck a couple of eggs in. Okay guys, decided to give the eggs a miss. They feel a bit wobbly inside, so... Uh, I'm not going to risk them, that's plenty for me. Could do with some gravy or something, but um, that was what the eggs were going to be for. So, so uh, it's going to have to do. Still looks alright. Back for a food review in a minute on this beautiful night. Still must be 28 degrees out here. Got the guys camping down the end there where we were last time. They're from Border Town, been out yabbying, and uh, they've just had a quick swim. To cool off, I jumped in again about 45 minutes ago. So, uh, tea time now, and I think there's a roll over here in the Formula 500s. 
Okay guys, before it gets too dark, not too bad. Like I said, it really needed some gravy or something, but that was my fault. These uh, thin beef schnitzels, not a real fan of them, but this one wasn't too bad. Chicken chippies were pretty good. So, uh, 6.7, that's my review. Well, good morning everyone. Bit cooler to today. Had a reasonable sleep, but not brilliant, but woke up this morning and all these cars and trailers were here. I didn't hear one of them pull up. Okay guys, here we go. I think I should have gone the other side of the jetty. It's a bit muddy here. Got a boat coming in. How you going? Not bad, I'm not the prettiest at this. <laughs> this Be careful. Is this your hat? <laughs> no, that one's not mine. But that's my phone I'm gonna get. <laughs> I didn't want to risk that with me falling in. This thing GoPro? GoPro, yep. How'd you go with the Abbeys? Alright guys, we made it. Wasn't pretty. You can see that these pumps were underwater. Nice little party boat there with decent pontoons. I don't mind that one. Nice solid aluminium pontoons. So that's the River Murray out there to the right. And Catarapco Creek to the left. Little sign on the old dead gum tree here telling you which way the river Murray is so you don't get lost because it looks pretty wide here so from my memory which is a pretty rough guess Catarapco Creek comes out about seven or eight kilometers below Loxton and it comes off of the river Murray about 25 to 30 kilometers above Loxton and cuts through a lot of canoeists will cut through here because it's a little bit shorter I think if they're doing the big long trip down the Murray which I think is cheating you should stay on the Murray but uh, you can't get through on a houseboat you can go on a houseboat up here and moor up and have a look around but down the other end of Cataratco Creek I don't know what you call it, I'm going to call it a barrage, it's just, it's just a cement barrage under the water there and you can see the water rushing over it when you get up there but a canoe will get across it and 
tinnies and that will get on over it usually if the water level's right. But uh, you won't get a houseboat through there. Okay, we'll drop the hopper net in here. We'll see how deep it gets. Yeah, that's pretty good. So we'll just paddle into this little lagoon here where there's a lot less flow. Beautiful. That old gum tree. See the watermark up there? That's about three metres, three and a half metres up to there. Okay, we'll check out this opera net. See what's happening. Got a few in there. It's not too bad, but I think it was sitting on an angle. Look at that big one there. She's a beauty. That's the only good one in there. I don't think I'm even going to bother about keeping those at the moment. Might put him in a bag, the big one. See what happens. But uh, I reckon it might have been sitting on a tree branch underneath. So. Grab that big one. Oh, look at the size of him. The rest of those can go. Although they're eating through all my meat. Well, we'll just pull this one up and see how we go. The other blokes in the tinnies were catching them way up Catarapco Creek, so I don't think there's too much down here. Other thing to remember when you're yabbying is you're probably only going to get about two pulls out of your bait while it's fresh. If you're using fresh meat or dog food, after about two pulls it goes off. So you need to be rebaiting up all the time. Push ourselves back here a little bit. All right. couple of yabbies there guys but uh, we're not going to bother about taking those plenty of shrimps if you want to go fishing so I think that's probably going to do us that looks like our same mate one legged one there so we'll tip them out let them go for a swim get the shrimps back in there Okay guys, this will be the last pull for this one. The bait was starting to fall out the stocking where they'd been nibbling on it. So most times your bait's only going to last for a couple of pulls and you're going to have to refresh it. Especially if you're using the uh, dog food or the dog canned food. You got a few in there. Two or three of them aren't a bad size, but I haven't got enough to worry about it. I've got to shoot off home, so if I had more time, we'd probably get a pretty good feed. But I think it's better off further up the creek. We're talking to the guys last night in the tinnies, they were going up there, and there's a few little backwaters back there you can get to. But, uh, a couple of those aren't too bad, but we're going to put them back. Let them 
survive and go for another bit of a swim. There you go, guys. See you later. There you go, mate. Righto, guys. That's going to finish this one. Here at Milcham Landing. Just opposite Catarapco Creek. Not a real lot of action in this, in this one, guys. Looking forward to getting the tinny down here. I'm doing a bit of work on it at the moment, so next time we come down this way, we'll definitely have the tinny so we can shoot further up Catarapco Creek and check it all out. We're all packed up, uh, tidied up and ready to go. Got to shoot in, check in with mum on the way back through Karunda, say hello. And then I reckon it might be the Sunday afternoon sesh at the pub. Go and tell the boys how many yabbies I caught. Spin a bit of bullshit. So uh, thanks for watching. Catch you guys next week.